High traders S&P 500 rose last week by 1.6% to an all-time high. The rising trend defeated the hurricanes, defeated North Korea, and even defeated the negative seasonality of September. In the coming days, the market will be affected mainly by the upcoming news of Trump's new tax plan and the conclusions of the Fed meeting on Tuesday and on Wednesday. More as from the market conduct in the past few days, any attempt to guess when the market will stop or when the trend will stop is in fact destined to be a failure. The market is uptrending, very trading friendly and all you have to do is continue trading with your best friend, the trend. Let's take a technical view of the market. As we can see, the S&P 500 reached a new all-time high, reaching 2,500 and holding near the highs. So the technical formation is very, very clear. There was a very nice breakout formation. We mentioned that last week. I didn't quite know which direction the market is going to pick, coming down or moving higher, but the technical formation finally won. So the market is continuing to uptrend and we should, as I mentioned earlier, follow the direction of the market. Let's take a look at last week's picks. We had MU for long from two weeks ago and many people wrote to me about MU asking me whether we should move out once it moved down by 2%. The answer was very clearly no. My stop loss is always at a 3% stop and MU did not reach that target and did continue higher, moved over the highs and finally, as you can see, reached a target of 6%. As usual, I take my profits at 3% and just hold the last quarter, hoping that MU will continue moving higher. So MU did well. My second pick was HFC for long. HFC did trigger, didn't do much and again, did move down, but did not get to my stop loss, which is, as always, 3%. It's, it came back approximately to the entry point and I hope it's going to continue higher, especially if the market's going to give us some backwind and continue higher too. So HFC still in the game. My third pick last week was NFX for a short. The market moved up, NFX did not continue moving down, therefore did not get to my trigger point. No trade in NFX, but it is still a potential trade in the next few weeks if the market will change direction and move down. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is PPC Long. PPC is a company in the States uh, involved in chicken meat production. I would like to go long, over $29.86. As you can see, a very, very clear technical formation for an upside continuation move, a nice breakout formation, and PPC is my main candidate for next week. My second candidate for the week is Applied Material. Applied Materials have a very nice double cup formation. It is looking great, over $47.86. Applied Materials is a provider of equipment, services, and software for the semiconductors industry. And again, a very nice technical formation. The market continues to move higher, so we should follow the market's trend. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week. Traders, if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click in this corner in order to learn more about my funded accounts program. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. Over here, you can find some of my best live trading videos. And please, if you have any questions, let's have a discussion in the comments below.